Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's Make Knowledge Week campaign we go about looking at how we can move pictures from our mobile internal storage onto our mounted SD card. Now why is this so important? It's important because the pictures that we take often are like high definition and of higher resolution and therefore they can consume a lot of space and you really don't want that to be eating up your internal storage and that's when knowing something like this is pretty useful. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. Now for our setup we are using a Samsung M51 and the file storage system here is with the name My Files. It's quite possible that on your Android device it may be something else. So I will head towards My Files. We need to head towards our file storage system. Now when you come here first it would look something like this. So it would list down the different storages that you have, the internal storage and the SD card. So I have mounted a SD card onto this phone and therefore it's showing that I have a SD card here. And I do obviously have my phone internal memory. I head towards the internal storage on to check the different folders that I have. Now the picture folder or the videos that get stored on your phone is with the name DCIM. So be careful that you open the DCIM folder and this is where you can see the camera folder. That is whatever images you take, whatever videos you shoot, they are all inside this DCIM folder. And that's how this folder is named the same even on your SD card as well. Now here you can see there are different different pictures and these are the pictures that you now want to move on to the SD card. Now say for example I want to move this, 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 this three images. Now if you look at the bottom we have this option of moving because we want to move it right. So I click on move. As soon as I do that, if you note at the bottom, I have an option of cancelling or moving here. But do I want to move it again here itself? Obviously no. I want to move it to the SD card. And that's where I navigate using this back button. So I back, I go back again, I go back again until I reach SD card. And this is where I can use the move here option. Should I be doing that? If I do it, it will land in my SD card itself without being in a folder as such. If I want to do that, I can do that. And all these three files you can see is now not going into a folder, but it's in the SD card. When I open the SD card, I can see these pictures. But in case I want to put them in the DCIM folder, what I again do is I click on DCIM, I head towards camera, I can see my different pictures. So like I said, all the pictures that I want to move, I click on move here. Then I don't want to click on move here itself. So I see the move here, I select the pictures, but where do I want to move? I want to move it to the SD card. So I click on SD card and now I just don't want to keep it outside. I click on DCIM and inside camera, I now want to move it here and therefore I click move here. And that's why you now see those images coming and appearing here. Well, this is as far as moving pictures or certain images are concerned. In case I want to move the whole camera folder itself, what I can do is I can select camera and then I can click on move and I can go back to the SD card and then I can click move here. The whole camera folder itself will get moved. Now in case you are wondering is there a possible option of saving your new images onto the SD card. There is. You go to settings, you search for apps, locate the camera app. So what I will do is I will just scroll down until I see the camera app. I go to settings, inside settings I scroll down until I see storage location and here I select it to SD card so that any of the new pictures or the videos that I shoot will now get saved onto my SD card. Well guys, that's all for today. In case you find this helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. Please also share this with your friends and colleagues because I know this is pretty useful. Until next time, it's me signing off.